I think it's important for modern chefs to understand the real essence and authenticity of Thai cuisine. And I think there are many opportunities to bring Thai flavors in their inherent cuisine. As Chef Prince said, you have to taste, taste, taste to educate your palate, to understand the complexity of balancing ingredients that are so bold in flavor as each and one on their own. Galangal, the garlic they use, the shallot, the Thai shrimp paste, the kaffir lime leaf, the lemongrass, the chilies. Each and every one is a very bold, pungent ingredient or strong or floral. To put them all together is almost the foundation of most dishes and get them fine-tuned to the degree where it's a harmony in your mouth is not something you can do just by reciting recipes from a book. It's, it, it has to be an educational journey for, for your palates. Exposure to Thailand and visiting Thailand to really get the essence of this cuisine is crucial. Seeing the country, the people, the context, the market, the smells gives the, the backdrop to what this cuisine is all about. Bangkok is busy. It's busy all over. It's, it's, it's like a humming, you know, beehive. The traffic, the scooters, the people running around, the street food, the hustle, the bustle, the markets, it's just phenomenal. Cooking at the ISEA cooking school with Chef Anne, who's originally from the south, exposed me to a whole different element of Thai cuisine. First of all, cooking a barracuda. It's a first. But the barracuda curry that she did, the complexity and mixing it with all the ingredients to make this dip, the whole, the whole idea of those relishes or, and dips that are being served with the crudité, I think are a great fit to our culture back home. The one amazing thing Chef Ian showed me and taught me is to replace shrimp paste with salted fermented yellow bean paste, which is essentially miso. Uh, not only that it's a vegetarian translation to a dish, but it's also something that is, I can get of a higher quality back home. Chef McDang was once, one in a lifetime experience. His understanding of the evolution of cuisine, dishes, how things came to be, it's, it, it was a very, very unique experience. They all have so many, such different personalities, but at the end of the day, their love to this tradition. Some of the things I'm gonna bring back and experiment with are some of the dishes that has commonalities with ingredients that are easy to find back home. There are many opportunities to bring Thai flavors into familiar ingredients or introduce the Thai cuisine in a baby step almost, so it won't be a shock because there are so many similarities.